Hey everyone, we're at the back of our property today and I want to tell you about our hedge that we just put in. We have about 30 plants that we planted here last weekend and we want to add this hedge because we found out someone bought the property behind us and we wanted to add a little bit more privacy. So these plants will all grow really big and do really well for privacy. So I had a video plan where we were going to shoot and show you exactly what they look like before we got them in the ground but last weekend it was super windy and i just didn't think i could put that video on youtube because it was just crazy wind noise throughout the whole, the whole video so this is take two but you'll get to see what they look like in the ground and i think they all turned out really well so let's talk about the four different types of plants that we put in the ground here all right the first plant we have is our yokon holly and we picked this plant because it's native to this area and we know it's going to do really well. In fact, if you drive around the road, you'll probably see one just growing naturally on the side of the road next to a fence or something. So this does really well in our area. And again, we're in zone 9A. So this plant, I love that it has the little green leaves on it. Um, it'll stay green all year round. And it has these red berries, which look really pretty in contrast to the green leaves. Note that the berries are poisonous. They're not meant to be eaten. They'll make you throw up. So maybe not a good idea to plant if you have a lot of little kids running around or dogs. But this is, again, in the very back of our property. So hopefully you won't have any issue with anyone trying to eat any of these berries. Um, just know that this is probably the slowest growing of the plants we have in our hedge. But again, we liked it because it's really... Um, drought resistant and cold hardy and it'll do well any types of soil so we knew that if we plant it here it's probably going to be really successful and it looks really pretty and I think it'll do great and contrast the other plants we have in our hedge. Here we have our Nellie R. Stevens holly and this does really well in Texas. A lot of people have them for privacy hedges and screens so we know that this is going to do probably pretty well here. It grows really big 15-20 feet tall and this is a fast grower. And I really love that it has these really dark green leaves. It'll, this will be evergreen all year round. And it also has a red berry similar to the Yopon holly and like little dainty white flowers that also come up. This one doesn't have any right now, but they'll get them as they get larger and uh, more established. But um, one thing about these plants is this came in a seven gallon pot. The Yopon holly we just talked about came in a 30 gallon pot. So it's a lot smaller, but the reason why we ended up getting a larger Yopon holly is just because that's what the nursery had. And it was definitely a bit of a beast to put in the ground. This one was a lot easier to plant. So, but it looks small right now, but it's gonna get huge really fast. So it's also drought resistant and cold hardy, and I'm excited to see this one grow. This is our Sweet Viburnum and this is also going to be a very fast grower this thing is going to get huge really soon and it'll grow tall 15 to 20 feet tall uh, this has little white flowers that it'll produce in the spring and summer it doesn't have any right now but they'll get these flowers and they have a scent in my opinion i don't really think they smell that good but i guess that's you know to your own nose and smell but um they I want to point out that the tops of this new growth here, they're kind of brown. And that's because we had a bit of a late frost this week. And so some of the new growth got a little bit damaged, but I think overall the plant's going to be fine. And I like this plant because it has, this is the biggest leaf plant that we have in our hedge. So I think it'll provide like a really unique contrast and the overall aesthetic and look of the plant is very different from the other plants that we have. So I think it'll look really pretty in contrast to the other uh, green, uh, plants that we have in our hedge. So yeah, that's our sweet viburnum. This is our southern wax myrtle. It looks a little bit barren right now, but it does lose its leaves if you get a frost. And like I said, we had a frost uh, this past week. And this one is really popular in Texas landscapes. We've seen them all the time in different hedges and other people's uh, yards. And I like that it has these like little green leaves um, of course, this will get all filled out in the later in the spring and summer, and this is a really fast grower. It's going to get huge, and I think it'll just provide a nice contrast to the plants we have in our hedge. All right, the last plant I want to tell you about in our hedge is this loblolly pine. There's only one of them, and we just, my husband and I decided to put it in our hedge because we like loblolly pines. We're like, why not? So we have one of these here, 
I, I think they look really cool and they're, this is also going to get really big and it'll stay green all year round. But kind of talking about variety, so we have four different types of plants in here and then our lava, I guess that's five technically. But we decide to put them in sort of a random order so it's not all monoculture. We wanted to look out our back window and see just a different, just not one, one same plant. So we want to have the different space and different leaves and colors and, and berries and flowers so that we look out and it looks more natural and really pretty. So there's not a particular order of like we planted every single one, like, you know, every uh, Yopon Holly, like every fourth one or whatever. It's, it's kind of more random, but I think that's going to look really cool and really pretty once they all get a lot bigger. Okay, the last thing I want to show you guys is our, our two onion plants. And I'll get to why we have onions growing in our hedge in just a moment. But I want to talk about how we got here. So we started this process about a year ago, actually. But we had a really bad freeze last winter. And so when we were going to buy plants, a lot of the nurseries didn't have a lot of stock because we had this terrible freeze. So we decided to wait a year until all the nurseries were stocked back up again. And so here we are. But it worked out really well because it gave us a year to amend the soil and make sure we had a nice home for all of our shrubs. So my husband came in and tilled up all the soil and we used the same soil that we have in our garden beds and we put it on top and tilled it in with our natural clay soil. And then the other thing that we did is we were like, what can we do to add to the soil that's more economical that will uh, provide more nutrients? And so we ended up taking our kitchen scraps and put it on top of our our hedge soil here and then we would till it in and so one of those things was i guess some onions that i had in the kitchen and they started growing and so <laughs> we saw these i guess a few months ago growing out here and i don't know we just decided to see what would happen so <laughs> we have onions growing in our hedge but at least it goes to show that this is a nice environment these onions are growing here they like it and so hopefully our our shrubs will do really well and enjoy it too and the last thing i want to talk about is this thatch that we have on top of our soil. And my husband and I were out riding bikes last weekend and we happened to see one of our neighbors who was scalping his lawn to get ready for spring. And he was bagging up all of his nitrogen rich Bermuda thatch. And so we asked him if we could take it, of course it was free. And we put probably 30 contractor bags worth in my husband's truck and brought them back to our house. And this has been really great. It'll break down very fast, provides a lot of nitrogen, and again, extremely economical. We don't have to buy a ton of mulch to add on here. So I really am glad that we happened to see this neighbor last weekend and we put it on here and it was really easy to put down. So I think they're also gonna like this as well. So that's our hedge here. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. Otherwise, um, let me know what you guys have in your hedge and what has done well or what hasn't. But thanks again for uh, tuning in today. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all again next time.